Hey guys, this is Farmer Joe. I'm coming to you from Dooley Elementary School. And today, we're gonna look at a plant that you could probably find in your own backyard. So let's go out into the garden and see what's going on. In this garden, that's quite a bit of vegetables growing on here. And there's all sorts of stuff, man. I see there's some kale and there's some, there's a cow, there's some flowers right there, a little California poppy over there. And then, well, we also have, oh, look at this. Look at this little pretty flowers, blue flowers. We got all sorts of stuff growing on in the garden here. But we're not talking about the vegetables going on in the garden today. We're talking about a plant that you could probably find well, in your backyard or maybe down the street at a park or even just growing out of the crack in the street. So that plant is going to be right here. And we've got, there it is, wild mustard. A lot of people think that this plant is a weed and it's no good except to pull out of the ground but Farmer Joe is going to tell you a little bit about this plant and then maybe we uh we can have a little bit more appreciation for some of the plants that are growing in our backyard. Now we're going to identify this plant and when you identify a plant you just got to look at well look at the way that it grows. Look at the leaves. The leaves look at that. The leaves have these big lobes on them. Look they almost look like dandelion leaves and the the main way that we're going to identify our wild mustard is going to be the flowers. Now when we look at the flower stalk here, it's got these little seed pods coming off the side. It's got a bunch of seed pods right there. Those are going to be mustard seeds. Did you guys know that mustard seeds is where we get mustard from? That's pretty cool. But then, man, I don't know if you guys can see these flowers are so small but when you look at the flowers you could see you've got four little yellow petals see how small those flowers are can you see four petals on those flowers the flowers have four petals and well the way that we positively identify our mustard plant is that we see what's going on what the flower looks like so Farmer Joe brought a little visual aid. You guys are gonna have to get a magnifying glass and look at your mustard flowers. And when you get a magnifying glass, you'll be able to see, well, look at this, the patterns of the mustard family. Man, mustard is such a popular plant, it gets its own plant family. Now, if we look at the flower of the mustard plant, it's going to have, well, right here, it's gonna have these things. They're called sepals. They're special leaves on the outside of the petals. It's gonna have four sepals. And then it's going to have four petals. Once you take the petals and the sepals off, then the inside of the flower looks like this. It's got six stamens. See these stamens? These are the little, they look like little wires with little fuzzy things on top. Anyway, it's got six stamens. Two of the stamens are short. And four of the stamens are tall. This is how we can identify that this is a plant in the mustard family and that this is wild mustard. Now, once you've identified your wild mustard plant with an adult, you can do a taste test. Now, let's see. Farmer Joe is going to get a leaf right here and he's going to taste it. See, hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It definitely tastes like mustard. Man, it really tastes like mustard. Man, look at all this mustard growing here. I think I got, man, you can make this in a salad with a little honey vinaigrette. Huh? How's that sound? Or, man, if you don't like salad, you could just cook these mustard greens up. You can cook them up with a little bit of, I don't know, olive oil, garlic, and onions. They are delicious. But one thing about the mustard plant is that the entire plant, from the flower to the roots, is edible. So once we've identified that mustard flower, we know that we've got edible plant. So there you go, guys. Salad in your own backyard. <laughs>